Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Nine. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Your favorite friend died. Oprah? No, your favorite friend. My right hand? <laughs> no. That Matthew a... Perry. Your favorite friend. Was he the one that was in the whole nine yards? Yeah, Chandler. Chandler Bang, 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 something. I don't you, know. Did you watch the... Okay, you know what? Look, rest in peace to the man. Um, It's definitely a sad day for... Did I watch him. what? It was a very tragic thing that happened. Uh, I've never seen an episode of Friends. Have you ever watched Friends? Are you asking me that because I'm white? No, I'm asking you because... <laughs> I'm asking you that because you said his name from uh, the show. I have only watched <laughs> Friends... When it came on after something I was watching on TV, like there used to be, used to come on after something that Seinfeld, I watched. Seinfeld. So like I wouldn't watch it, but it would come on and I'd be doing something. It'd be like kind of yeah. like I get done with a football game. The news comes on. I'm like, they would, oh, they would have the friends in Seinfeld block. And I used to never miss an episode of Seinfeld, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I so I mean, I've seen a few episodes, but not like I've never turned on friends like I can't wait for friends to start. No, I used to date a girl who would watch Friends all the time, but I would just be like in my phone because I'm uh, I can't watch. Friends. I had a roommate who his girlfriend was like obsessed with Friends, mm -hmm. and so like they would talk about it and like whatever. That was like when I was married, I watched a ton of Teen Mom, but it was because like I didn't, but I didn't watch it. We had two TVs in the living room, and I'd be playing video games, and she'd be watching Teen Mom, so Teen Mom was on. So in a sense, I was watching Teen Mom. Same thing. You watched Friends, you were just on your phone. I've never you heard, heard an episode of Teen Mom either. You heard a joke on Friends, though. You, I doubt you, it. I, I found it very pretentious. I it found is. it just kind of just like, I don't know. I found it not funny, just to be 100% honest. And that's not to say, okay, discredit anything from, from Matt Perry. I honestly didn't know who he was until I was like, is that the guy from the whole nine yards? And you were like, yeah. I was like, okay. Actually did like him and some of the other movies. Played like a quirky, kind of like out of fish, out of water type of guy. Oh my God, I don't, I'm just a normal guy, but now I'm... In the mafia, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like kind of Chris Kattan, kind of yeah, 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 a yeah. Little, little, you know, yeah, a little, little, little wonky poo, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Um, but I feel uh, bad. They found him in his hot tub, dead. So there was a uh, there was a line that went along with this where people thought it may have been foul play. Oh yeah, what happened? Because the last post that was on his Instagram, what do you think it was? A picture of a hot tub. It was him in the hot tub. And there was just like a, there was just like a certain way that he put it something about like, uh, he's like, if, if I end up dead, it's Drake. <laughs> Is that what he said? No, he didn't say that. I don't remember exactly what it said. And I don't want to speculate. God damn it, Drake. But it just seemed a little ominous that his last, the last thing he says felt a little ominous. And it was a picture of him in the hot tub. So people are thinking that he was murdered. Yeah, I think something similar happened with Mac Miller. Like he posted some like some like record playing his song or something, mm -hmm. and like it was, and then and then he then he died like the next day. I think no matter what you show, um, on the as your last you died, photo, like, people are gonna try to find some way to like tie that into like, like oh, oh my god, he saw it coming. He knew. Yeah, he this knew. was his last days. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like going in the hot tub, I guess would be all right. Uh, I mean, yeah. I like the hot tub. You don't, so it'd probably be terrible for you. Could happen to any of us. You'd be man. like, I'm a human soup, and now I'm dead human soup. Yeah, I wouldn't want to die in the human soup. It was a nice hot tub, too. You had to see the hot tub in the Instagram photos. Was it one? Was it a big boy? Ooh, yeah, Matt Perry, man. He had a whole pool hot tub. It was, it was a six foot, 16 foot deep yeah, hot tub. That's money, Matt. You talking about money, Matt. <laughs> Money Matt, he make money on the mat. I saw mat. something that somebody posted about him, and I was like, "That's a really kind of a weird way to like rec recognize him." It. She was just like, "God, who was it? It was a uh, yeah." Um, I think it was Mira Sorvino. I don't know who that is. Is she a friend? Uh, I don't think the way she spoke, it didn't seem like it. No, I mean, is she like on the show Friends? Mia oh Sonia. no, she was. She's an actress. She does something stupid. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Was he like your favorite friend? I don't. I didn't have one. I don't care about any of them. I, I thought you, you. You seem to know a lot about the show. I thought you. I don't know anything watch. about the show. You said you watched a couple episodes. I in passing, they were on the TV. I don't know that one girl from Screams in it. Heather Locklear. No. 
Courtney Cox. Cox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah, was yeah, in yeah. there. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one guy who's a real big beta. That guy, he's in there too. I think he died though, right? Who? The other friend guy. I, I don't think he's the first friend to die. Is there more than one friend dead? I think there's more than one friend dead. I don't think so. Who was the one where her nipples were hard the entire show? What? Jennifer Aniston? You knew what I was talking about. I mean, I just guessed. Yes. That was a meme? There is a documented evidence of just about every scene that she's in. Her nipples are erect, Jonas. Oh, wow. That's the only thing I know from Friends is Jennifer Aniston's nipples. I'm sorry. That's all I know. Oh, wow. You might want to look into that. That was, <laughs> that was like a big meme back in the day, man. People were like... Jennifer yeah. Aniston back in the day? Yeah, she, she was did. smoking, man. She, uh, she's smoking now. She could still get it. Shit, I I'm, mean... I'm, you know, I'm I'm older. She older. If she came knocking on the door, you'd be like, what up? You know what's crazy? is like chicks that you used to find hot, like how you don't find them hot anymore. But Why like, is that? I don't know. Because you said she used to be hot. I which mean, which means that you're saying she ain't. I haven't now. seen her in a long time. I used to think Jennifer Lawrence was hot. I don't think so anymore either. Mm -hmm. Do I have the Leo DiNardo DiCaprio disease? I think like if they're men. not if they're not twenty, then all men do. Man. Really? Yeah. Because like there's a there's like a certain age range, and, and let me not stress it only on men, but women as well. There's a certain age range where you're at your prime, and people want to want to see that person in. As a representation of what a man is or what a woman is. Okay. Like, that's the that's the representation they're going to use on stage. They're going to use in commercials. They're going to use in movies. That's the the ideal of what a man is. But, it's you know, it's... It's, it's all, like Fabio. It's all fabricated. Yeah. Because real men... This is... It's about our hearts, this dog. Is, no, it's not about our hearts. <laughs> if anything, yeah. the opposite. This is what peak male performance looks like. Right now, you? You might not like it, but this is what it looks like. Hey. Peak. Salt and pepper. You think... I'm scared. Excuse me? <laughs> Is salt and pepper? Did you just <laughs> reference my graying hair on the podcast? I, I was talking about. Whoa. I wasn't talking. That's a low blow, my man. That is not a low blow. <laughs> it kind of is. Is it? Yeah, a little oh, bit. Man, I apologize. No, I 100% approve of the lowness <laughs> of the blow. I, I, I've just you, never known you to stoop to I such. Stoop? I'm not you, stupid. You stooped, my <laughs> man. You caught the squat. You stooped and you stunk it up. All right, <laughs> it's fine. Cause I'm your homie, so it's cool. You can get that off. <laughs> I just want you to know you stooped. Wow. You straight up stooped you in the living stoop room. On, stoop on me, then it's fine. I don't know how to stoop on you. <laughs> I never considered myself a stooper. I was not a stupor either. No, nah, but if we stupid, we're going to be stupid. <laughs> we're going to get stupid with... <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm done. Um, uh, yeah. I don't remember what we were talking about now. Uh, you were t we were talking about uh, how men always want 24-year-old women. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no matter what age you are. I, uh, you I saw, saw an article that said Leonardo DiCaprio's new girlfriend wasn't, a, wasn't born when Titanic came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah. I mean, well, good for him, honestly. There's a, actually, I did see another story online that there's a rumor that he's actually gay and that he dates really young women like that to portray that he's like this bachelor gigolo, like whatever, but he's really like a gay guy. Yeah, well, get in line because you got to get behind Tom Cruise and uh, who's the guy from uh, Quentin Tarantino? Samuel Jackson and. John Travolta. John Travolta. You gotta get behind John Travolta, Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith, Dwight Howard. What happened with Will Smith and Jada, by the way? You're not gonna ask what happened to Dwight Howard? What happened to Dwight Howard? <laughs> this is a whole episode, Jonas. Okay, next week. No! I, I can't is this the last episode? Wait, is it, yeah. It's All right, let's do it real quick, real quick, real quick. Dwight Howard, Jonas. He had sexual allegations or sexual assault allegations brought on to him. Okay. All right? And then everybody was like, oh, shit. Dwight Howard's going to have to go to jail. So he comes out and he says, look, this night happened, but the sexual assault part did not. So the twist, the M. Night Shyamalan, is that the sexual contact was between Dwight Howard, the basketball star, 
a male and a trans woman named Kitty. Okay. Right? Now the guy looks like Ruby Rod. All right. Skinny, very frail, very petite. I don't even man. know who Ruby Rod is anyway. Ruby Rod from a. <laughs> I have no clue. The Fifth Element. Bruce oh, Bruce. okay. Okay. Corbin, Corbin, my man, Ruby Rod. Okay. Looks uh, like Chris Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But like very feminine. Uh, Kitty. Kitty looks like Kitty. All right. We ain't going to get into Kitty. Um, and Dwight okay. Howard is six foot. So the he's guy, like six eight, six eight. Shoulders like yeah. a goddamn truck. Yeah. He's he's like six, he's almost seven foot. Either way, so the guy says that he goes, he he sets up the date with Dwight Howard. The text message is leaked. All right. Okay. Um, and he's like, all right. He shows up and Kitty's there. He's like, oh, I thought it was just going to be me and you tonight, Dwight. And he says, no, Kitty's going to be joining us tonight. And then the guy shows a little bit of resistance to the situation, and he claims that Dwight Howard. Pulled his pants down, <laughs> put his legs over his head, and proceeded to forcibly elate him. Yes, sir. Wow. And then uh, Dwight Howard, according to the guy who had the sexual assault, who were claiming the allegations, he said after Dwight realized that he wasn't enjoying it, he stopped. And then the young the young man asked to go home. And Dwight Howard, of course, is denying all of it, but he's, I mean, he's not, he's denying the sexual assault, but he's not denying that he is, came out with a statement basically saying it's like, what goes on in my bedroom is my business. I mean, good for him. Which is the fairest statement that you can give him. Absolutely. Man. But. I mean, no matter, it would matter what you do in your bedroom unless it's raping people. Exactly. Like that ain't all right. No and matter that, what. And that's the thing. It's like, it's like, if you're, and it's like. It's bad enough yeah. to have to be brought out of the closet like this, but to be brought out under sexual assault allegations. Yeah, is just that way like worse. a guy came out and accused you of sexual assault on top of like everything else. Man, <laughs> it's that's bad. wild. That's wild, dude. Drug out of the closet. So there you go. That was the Dwight Howard story on next week, Jonas. That's crazy. Yeah, right. Uh, go to the uh, Subscribe, Jonas. Do you think? Yep.